Now, and I'm talking about the day. That's the world. I think that's the world. This is the world. And I'm like, this ain't talking like this. So whoever you think is the best, they not making the world is yours. They're not making it. Playing my style, I hope they got dental plans. So get it straight from the source and cut out the middle man. What you get? Get that pure dope. What you get? Get that pure dope. Go get it straight from the source and cut out the middle man. Get you get that pure dope. Now you know. No, no, today this is what the show is for. This is what the show is for. Hey, 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 hey. What's good? I don't know how you introduce it. I want you to do so how I introduce it. This is verse for verse. Gang, 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 gang. Word. Make some noise. We in here. Put your hands together. With the family, everybody. Introduce themselves. But I'm Mr. Rich. Uh, yeah, we got somebody Brody. new. We got somebody new. Introduce yourself. Bill, listen. If you see a white Brody. dude in the room, you know we're going to talk <laughs> no, about no, some no, white no, guy. No, no. <laughs> Slow down. Show sure, mad racist, right, man? Slow like, down. see an Asian in the building, you know we about, you know we about to talk about Jen. <laughs> you know. Word. You know, we got handsome Kyle over there. It's me. And the general. Hey, general, hey, big thunder, so, what's good? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is a, this is a special one for me, man. I'm sure. excited. I'm so excited to talk about, I call the voice of a generation, one of the goats. One of the greatest to ever touch a mic. Mm-hmm, pause. Miss, pause. Uh-huh. Mr. High, my name is. You know. Yeah, Mr. High. I'm like, what is this Mr. About? High, my you name is. Right? Mr. My name is. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. High, my you, name is. You think of my name now whenever you say hi. Became a commodity because I'm W H I T E. Because MTV was so friendly to me. Mm-hmm. We talking about. Eminem, Marshall Mathers, Marshall baby. Marshall Mathers. You got it, Ryan. He can rhyme orange. That's how yeah, nice he is. He said George, four inch. In the pores. George, 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 George. Orange. In the fours. <laughs> you know, and you know, this is yeah. this is dope because, you know, the first episode we did yes. was Renegade. The first with, episode ever? That was the first that's one? That's the first yeah. episode Amazing we did. Song. So, you know, we did that and we kind of put them up against each other, let the people, you know, talk about it. Yeah. But now we get to just dive into some straight Eminem. Because, you know, as much as everybody does l- love Renegade because yeah. they say he smoked Hove on his own song, I don't think that's his best song. No, I mean, I think it's something dope that, you know what I mean? But... Great verse. Amazing. Facts, the amazing. Song, the whole song put Facts. together is amazing. Yeah, I mean, Eminem is one of those people, when it comes to when it comes to a show like Verse for Verse, it's like, he, yeah. this, show, this guy has so many verses. It's like, <laughs> he's constantly just murdering verses. That's what he does. I just wanted to give him flowers real quick because I feel like, you know, He's gotten a lot of slander. People make fun of his little meme videos. Like his voice and oars, his snores and gores. I think that's even <laughs> and all dope, that. though. That's Very like creative. love. It is. But but what I do want to say, I feel like, like I said in the beginning, he was, in my opinion, a voice of a generation. He was, for me, definitely one of my first favorite rappers. It was Eminem and X. It's hard for me to know which one was first. because is that they the first came... album you bought or something? The first album I ever bought was Money, Power, Respect. Okay. It was the second album I ever bought, though. Okay. Slim Shady LP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money, Power, Respect was the first album I ever bought. And then the Slim Shady LP. Let's talk about that real quick. What's the first album you ever bought, Brody? X. Which one? X. Stark and Hell is Hot. What about you, sir? I don't know, son. It was a cassette tape, son. (laughs) I don't know which one it was. It was mad. Oh, I had mad cassette tape. The first album I bought on bootleg. Was the opposite of H two O drag on, mm, wow. drag on, and we need to son, got yeah, to, got to get to drag that's on, crazy. I need drag that dash verse. on, mm. and it's funny I had to look it up because I didn't know. So X album came out May of ninety nine, I think, and then M was like that December, or Jan- no mm. May ninety eight, and then it was like January the next year. So they came out very close to each other. I I'm pretty sure M was my first favorite rapper. Like I'm like he's a superhero. Like, he's just, it was crazy. Hi, Different. kids. Yeah. Are you like violence? And I also say, I was thinking about this, like, <laughs> he was the voice of a generation that 
was, I want to say, lied to. We was a very angry generation. Mm -hmm. I, I think about this because you always say how, like, people think you're the mean one, but you say I'm very, like, mean and scary. And I think our generation was like that because we came up kind of silenced in a way. And M was the opposite. He was, he was saying everything he wanted to say. He was frustrated. He was talking couldn't, about couldn't gay stop. people. He was talking couldn't about everything. He was talking about whatever he, he said, wanted. He said, Liberace, whoops, somebody shot Sign me. And, and I, was I was just checking, checking the mail. mail. Get it? Checking, checking the mail. mail. How many then records are you expecting to sell after balls, your second LP sent you directly, directly to jail? Sheesh. That's crazy. We know too many Eminem lyrics. No, nah, I'm a There's listen. No this is like a holiday for me. <laughs> did, did we did we get into what we about to get into? Nah, Not yet, no. Right? So we still, I was, we still, we still, we still nah, I was about to, I was about to, I was about to segue into that yeah, yeah, saying. Get there. He also, to me, what I think he's done so much lyrically crazy, boom, boom, boom. But what I think what's his calling card is inspiration. I think that he gave a whole generation inspiration to be themselves and speak their mind and be whoever they wanted to be. He obviously created a legendary movie, mm -hmm. Eight Mile, right? Just show his come up, you know. But the record we're talking about is Till I Collapse, you know, which I think kind of exemplifies everything that he stands for, which mm -hmm. is just being the best. Because being a white artist from a trailer park, he literally had to be the best. And I think mm -hmm. still to this point, to this day, we know he's great, but he still gets shaded. And I think that in itself is explanatory of how he always got to prove himself. And he, I think he did that from the very jump. Why do you jump. think he oh, gets yeah. shaded, though? Now or then? I mean, I don't think he got shaded then. What do you mean? Then? I, I don't think I don't then? think he really. It's a gets new shaded. thing that I've been hearing. You know what I mean? It's like when you go back shaded. and listen yeah. to the old stuff now, it don't hit as hard because he's telling all these weird stories about getting raped by his uncle, raping women with umbrellas, fighting Freddy Krueger and Jason. Yeah. You know what I mean? He yeah. talks about all of this. It's how to say his summer stuff didn't age well or something. Like yeah, that. right. I think that's, I don't even think that's a. a like a because I still over listen to narrative. It. Like it's, I don't think it's, it's valid. Nah, I don't think it's either. real. I don't think I mean, it's real. And, and we gotta be honest, uh, us up here, you know, no disrespect to Prody, but him being a white artist and us living a certain type of lifestyle we're living now, just you know, real black and you know, it's like we want to hear something with more. Uh, substance, the, yes. but it's not even substance. Mm -hmm. It's just more relatable. Right, I think right. That's but, the, I was going to say because he had his he had Super music substance. that was very he, sub. He like this act, song that we're about to do is substance, and this is not even like he's a full of substance. That's all I was going. I we don't have mm -hmm. enough time to get into it, but yeah. he literally to me is one of the he's the essence of this thing. Mm -hmm. Like he that mm -hmm. it don't get much more personal than this than his career. Mm -hmm. he said, it doesn't. I'm sorry, mama. He talked about <laughs> how his mother abused him for his whole career pretty much Hell yeah. the other thing that I was never 100% sure about is what was jokes and what was real and that's mm -hmm. why he was so good to me facts I was gonna yeah, say, yeah, that, he's an artist is, so why reality. you don't gotta know yeah yeah. yeah say that again even, even yeah. behind the jokes is definitely reality of course yeah. like, there's a, 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 a lot of yeah. truth is said in jest mm -hmm. yeah. you know what I'm saying so yeah, but I'm sure we're gonna talk a little more. But let's just get into this verse. We, I, we're doing the whole song. We're trying to do the. We're gonna try joke? to. Okay, I think we can. Two. All right, I think we can. Three, three M verses is mm. gonna be tough. Right. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I even want to start this little intro because once put again, your lip bomb. put your lip bomb. I want to start the intro. Put your lip bomb. My boy said. <laughs> get your, he said because sometimes you just feel tired, mm -hmm. feel weak, and when you feel weak, you feel like you want to just give up. But you gotta search the inner you. Look within you, find that inner strength, and just pull that shit out of you. Pause. And get that motivation and not give up, not be a quitter. No matter how bad you wanna just fall flat on your face. He said, Till I collapse, I'm spilling these raps. Long as you feel them, till the day that I drop, you'll never say that I'm not killing them. Cause when I am not, then I'ma stop pinning them. And I am not hip hop, and I'm just not Eminem. Subliminal thoughts when I'ma stop sending them. Women are caught in webs, spin them in hard. Venom, adrenaline shots so of penicillin could not get the ill in the stop. But moxicillin's just not, not real, real enough. enough. Real quick, gotta talk about this real quick. So is he not Scooby? Is he not? He's the, he's the master might be the of king the Scooby. I said that, but when I said it, y'all thought I was saying, I'm mm -hmm. son. Well, I've taken what you said. Right, we, I, we, we it's have like to, we magic, have to really bro. get into Scooby Dooby, man. We had to get into it's what magic. that meant. Like, yeah. when it was he first said, it sounded like you was... Down playing what he was nah, doing. Nah, bro. Like he 
He he like it's, all it's, he was doing was Scooby Dooby, but it nah, wasn't nah, no nah, substance, nah, and that's nah. what it felt like. That's what we took Scooby Dooby yeah, was nah, at the beginning. Nah. But I understand what you're saying. Because yeah. when it's you say Scooby Dooby, it sounds like yeah, he's just saying it's a lot a of words. Around. Around. Nah, yeah, what, I, what I'm saying is that with the flow, he could be right. The, he's nice, so he's actually saying fire stuff. But with the flow, it's so hypnotic that he could be saying, son, he could be going. Oh yeah, it's a fire. Nah, the feminine. My head is fire. Sounds fire. He's actually like you said before. He's mumble rap with lyrics. Son. Like mm-hmm. it's crazy. Like, I'm a hundred percent sure to, 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 there are people who don't know the words to this and, and just the, make noise so like that when they just find out bars that not, not, they yeah. Yeah. not feeling them. <laughs> I mean, and I just want to point out, like, once again, verse. he first of all, he's saying that all he cares about is giving you these bars. Oh, yeah. so, he, so, that's all he so, cares so, about. So, so timeless. So, he, so, so, so timeless. Yeah, everything that he's saying right now is everybody feels tired. Yeah, everybody exactly. Feels weak. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So stand up. In order to get, and he's gonna do this until he can't no more. Yeah. And if he do, and if he ever stops killing it, he's actually not himself. Yeah, because he's only here to pin sure. these lyrics, and he's hip hop, and he's meant, not Eminem. He meant every word of this, bro. Every yeah. single, and but and, and don't and don't let this go over your head. This line of adrenaline shots of penicillin could not get the ill in to stop. A moxicillin just not real enough. enough huh? Cause you know moxicillin, penicillin, they mm-hmm. kill cure illness. Mm-hmm. Back to he the, said uh, he's so, and kill, he's saying that could stop illness. his illness. Cause a moxicillin. I used to take a moxicillin when I got strep throat. They would give me that. <laughs> yes, that was the moxicillin the is not real enough, right? Nah. So. Not the cr- traps though. <laughs> Amoxicillin is just not real enough. The criminal cop killing hip hop villain. A minimal swap. The cop millions of pot listeners. Wow. You're sure. coming with me, feel it, it or not. You're it gonna feel it like I showed you. The spirit of God lives in us. You hear it a lot. Lyrics is shock. Is it a miracle or am I just product of pop fizzing up? For shizzle, my whistle, this is the plot. Listen up. You business for God. Slizzle does not give a fuck. And then. He has the legendary hook master. Yeah. So, Nate so, and that's another double. thing with him. So, we we had a, a conversation off of this about legendary artists. The, yeah. the people he was linked to a producer, legendary Greatest. Dr. Dre, mm-hmm. and then he has the most legendary hook god, Nate Dogg, doing this hook on his song. Crazy. Yes. yes. Crazy. Rest in peace. Adam. Crazy. Once again, I just want to just tie this thread through that no matter what you feel about him, it doesn't matter. He's going to make you a believer. Don't mm-hmm. matter. You can, he's white. He's talking about nothing. This is nonsense. But you don't want to step in the ring with him. Because he'll throw you in a loop. He's not going to stop. <laughs> he's not. A loop. He's <laughs> not. He said, you're coming with me. Feel it or not. You're going to fear it like I showed you the spirit of God lives in us. Mm-hmm. You hear it a lot. Lyrics is shock. Is he just a miracle or is he just a product of the pop, the fame? That's what everybody was saying. He's white. He's famous because he's white. Mm -hmm. No, he will murder some. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get to the second verse, right? So he goes, this is my favorite verse, by the way. This is when he gets deep in his bag. Music is like magic. There's a certain feeling you get when you reel and you spit and people are feeling your shit. This is your moment. And every single minute you spend, try to hold on to it because you may never get, get it, it again. again. So while you're in, in it, it, try to get as much shit, shit as, as you can. can. And when your run is over, just, just admit when it's said it's sin. Because I'm at the end of my wits with half the shit that gets sent. I got a list. Here's the order of my list of the sin. It goes Reggie, Jay-Z, Tupac, and Biggie. Andre from Outkast, Jada Corrupt, Nas, and then me. But in this industry, I'm the cause of a, a lot, lot of envy. envy. So when I'm not put on this list, this shit does not, not offend me. That's why you flow. see me walk around like nothing's, nothing's bothering, bothering me. me. Even though half you people renegade got a flow. fucking problem with me. You hate it, but you know respect you got, got to give me. me. The press is wet dream mm-hmm. like Bobby and Whitney. Nate, Nate hit, hit me. me. Okay, man, okay, okay. Let's talk about it, man. Let's talk um, about it. Go ahead. So first off, first off, this flow is just stupid, bro. This the is way, renegade flow. The way this was that renegade. he renegade he, flow. he says these words, like and you could clearly hit like this. You know, I'm big on like like punctuation, and and cadence. Yeah, like all of this shit is really crazy. He's making sure he get every word. So out while too. you're in it, He's try to it. get much of shit as you can. And when your run is over, just admit when it's, it's at its end. end. Cause I'm at the end, end of my, my wits with half the shit, shit that, that gets in. in. I got a list. list. Here's the order of my list that it's in. It's conversation. Crazy. I love that. He's having a conversation. I love He's that. talking. That's He's what I'm saying. To it's like a conversation, He's bro. Just talking. You know what I'm saying? And he was a ra- he is a rapping prodigy. Prodigy. Mm-hmm. Prodigy. Is it him? Did he did he break the, the thing or twist this 
broke the record. Well, Twister the had faster. it, but yeah. I don't know if with, with the, the new joint he did, right? right? Yeah. Rap, yeah, he's supposedly that was it. Son, I just want to, I want to see it like. Because that doesn't make sense, bro. What? To be able to rap as fast as he can do mm-hmm. and make it rhyme. Because, you know, when Buster does it, he says a lot of hippity. Mm-hmm. He does scoobity doobity sometimes and doesn't say words. <laughs> He's saying words. <laughs> He's saying words. Don't say Buster didn't say words. Buster yeah, said words. Saying, but uh, M, he really always is saying words. Always. And it's amazing when I hear it. Now, about his list, how do you guys feel about this list? Too wiggy. It's a great That's list. M- it's M's list. That's a legendary and, list. You know, he said this is the order of his list that it's in. So now, is this his order as in Reggie's one, Jay's two, Pockets three, Biggie's four, Andre five, Jada six, Corrupt? Seven, That's what he's saying. That's nine, what he's saying. Because he says, and then me. So he's saying it's an order. And I trust that That's he crazy. wasn't lying. That's crazy. Even though you know he's a rapper, so certain things have to rap. But I'll tell you this: Not, uh, it makes sense so. that, like we just talked about on the last episode, Reggie Noble. But even Tupac, there's a lot of Tupac and Eminem, and even in his persona, the I don't give a fuck persona, the I don't give a fuck attitude. Mm-hmm. Like if you look at clips fuck of the Pac world. and you look at clips of M, you see a lot of Pac and M. So mm-hmm. I, I, you, I can, you know, Pac is a huge influence. But I don't to see M. no J in him. You see the I, rebel. What, I Eminem? In, yeah. You see the rebel in M just like you see it in Pac. Yeah, but I think I think I think just I think he what respects J lyrically. The rebel. The rebel, the rebel. that Pac mm-hmm. is. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, M for sure. M don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the what, renegade. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like that, that's how it is. But I was saying stuff. I don't see the the J in him. You see the J? Yeah. What parts? I think that the the approach that he took to rapping, like like we were saying, like I've said. Every word, whatever he's saying, it has to land mm. on the spot that he wanted. To, just like Jay. Jay never made no mistake in a verse. Mm. He never said a word that just flew off to the side over yeah. here. Every mm. bar that he's saying is going to land perfectly where he wanted it to land. Mm. Even though their cadence, cadence may not be the yeah. same, yeah. their plan that they take to when they're approaching rapping Everything yeah. must fit I, in. I, I was gonna no say. I was gonna say. With early J. Yeah. I, I was no, gonna say. No. I was gonna say. I think like, he man. just he re- understands that J is a supreme lyricist because all of those artists are supreme lyricists, even to the point of like you said before, um, the enunciation. When I when I think of Andre 3000, especially even Corrupt. Yeah. Corrupt's mm-hmm. another one that the He's enunciation, on. the way Corrupt lands these words slept and the wordplay is some crazy. Corrupt verses you know what I'm saying? So I think the, I got the, one in particular. Uh-huh. This list is is like elite rhyme sayers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, once again, I got t- my nigga Graph on the I list, want, though. I want to tie. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> He ain't got push on there. Yeah, That's hey, crazy. He good. It's all subjective. <laughs> the last, let's let's go. Let's let's go to the last verse real quick. Time. Right. So last verse three. Right. Mm-hmm. Soon as a verse starts, I eat at an MC's heart. What is he thinking? How not to go against me? Smart. Smart. And it's absurd how people hang on every, every word. word. I probably never get the props I feel I ever, ever deserve. deserve, but I'll never be served. My spot is forever reserved. If I ever leave Earth, Earth that would be the death of me first. Because I'm in my heart of hearts, so I know nothing could ever, ever be worse. worse. That's why I'm clever when I put together every reverse. Right. My thoughts are sporadic. I act like I'm an addict. I rap like I'm addicted to smack, like I'm Kim Mathers. But I don't want to go forth and back in constant battles. The fact is, I would rather sit back and bump some rappers. rappers. Hold on, I want to keep going because the flow's so crazy. But you want to address what he's saying, what he's talking gotta about. We got to talk about some yeah. of it. So, yeah. from the beginning, the sooner as a verse starts, I eat at an MC's heart. What is he thinking? How not to go against me? Smart. Smarts. You know, I love that line because. Once again, it's, Cody's like, he's going to win. <laughs> he's like, he's like every yeah. time I get on this and, mic, and they going to feel it. And nah. he did. They're going to feel it. How is this making you feel right now? Because I see you feeling this over there. Um, I haven't been on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm chilling. This is, yeah, nah, because M, M one of your favorite rappers? Like, Well, early. Early M is definitely one of early my favorite. M. Early M. Yeah, I think, I mean, we, anybody, B-Bow. we talked about this. What does know? early M mean? Early M means hunger. The first three albums. Hunger is derived from where they came from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm asking and, what, and what albums? Oh, Marshall Mathers LP, 
the, the first Slim Shady Slim LP. Shady. First Shady. One. And then Eminem Show. I, I, I put Eminem Show in there because that's my shit. I tell you. This you is Eminem like Show. Yeah. And, and, you know, we oh, had yeah. the conversation like, you know, the people that do try to shit on him now, it's like yes. you wasn't a real M fan. Mm-hmm. Facts. If you could try to shit on him now, there's no way mm-hmm. you was a real M and, fan. And, and, Cause you understand Slim Shady LP, Marshall Mathers LP, Eminem show is fire. Yeah, and I, fire. I, made, I made the mm-hmm. argument right. Like we give other people passes. Like we just talking about big, right? Two mm-hmm. albums. He's a legend, right? Mm-hmm. Lauryn Hill, one no, album. I don't give niggas legend. Passes, I'm just saying. <laughs> some people do. I'm saying with M, but, 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 but what I'm saying is to say that even if you're Whatever. saying his Whatever. fifth, sixth, and seventh album, you don't love mm-hmm. them first but, three are legendary. But, so, but, but yeah. Rich, so what? Artists, because this is where it gets it gets crazy, unless maybe Jay or it's like a couple. Most artists, even the legendary mm-hmm. ones, is not making. I know you're six going. Yep. legendary exactly. albums. Come on, it's not exactly. happening. It's not so how, how are they right. they penalizing these people? So yeah. any for me rapper personally, that you naming, I always Graf. feel I always feel you gotta have one classic album. That's it, at right? least you just need one, right? And then you got to have solid projects. Yeah. That's it. If, as long as you have solid projects yeah. and one classic that people mm-hmm. can go to, you if good. If it was that yeah. easy to just make classic albums. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Every just, album is classic now. Nah. And right. you know, people try to, it's the same thing with the battle rap. You know, this is going to be a, a classic battle. Yeah, nah. They just try to throw that that, yeah. that tag on a lot of things that's not classic. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But we How do you feel about it? Oh, you want to finish it? Uh, yeah, I'll finish yeah, it up and then we just pick our favorite parts, right? So, all right. So... It ain't, no. mm-hmm. <laughs> Worse. Um, that's why I'm clever when I put together every reverse. My thoughts are sporadic. I act like I'm an addict. I rap like I'm addicted to smack like I'm Kim Mathers. But I don't want to go forth and back in constant battles. The fact is I would rather sit back and bomb some rappers. So this is like a full-blown attack. I'm launching at him. The track is on some battling raps who want some static. Because I don't really think that the fact that I'm slim matters a plaque and platinum status is whack if I'm not the baddest. Right? So... Yeah, this is different. different he wants man. to battle. He, wa- he's he always wants battling. niggas to know. Every time he I raps, want he's all battling. of the smoke. He he Ev- Everyone thinks plaques. they can rap better than me. Pull up. Son, let's prove it. Plaques. Back in them times, every them one of the people that he probably named on this list probably all feel just like that. Man, all of the yeah. niggas that's from the grain of that, that's what they feel like. You don't feel like that? Yeah, I mean, so for me, I mean, you know what it is? Actually, I had to get back to that because it was a point in time where all I did was that. I wanted to rap, battle everybody. Then you get to a place where it's like, no, nah, you got to make songs. You got to learn yeah. how to make hit songs. And so then I get into that place where now, you know, Rich was, uh, he's legendary for that. I don't rap. I make songs, you know. Mm-hmm. He wasn't trying to rap for nobody anymore at a point. And then I had to get back to it. Like, that's the essence. You got to be you know, willing to too. rap and freestyle yeah, yeah. And, and cyphers yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. E- even and come at you, niggas next. Even if you're not doing that, though, even if when you get on a song, don't you feel like when you get on that song that you trying to make niggas rewrite they verse or, or, I mean, that's or shine on the song or whatever. That's that's the battle in that aspect of you making a song. You have to. I mean, yeah. you, every, every song is a You're trying to make a, a moment. Yeah, you're every trying to make a moment. A no, you get fact. the microphone. I don't you care what it. nobody says. I mean, you you want the song. It's to a gentlemanly go, battle. It's yeah. a gentleman yeah. battle. You ain't going to talk crazy about the niggas you're on the song with, but you in that booth. Styles and them talk about it all the time. You know, they get group the locks. You know what I'm saying? It's like we trying to take each other's heads off when we're doing it. We're trying to get the best version. It's kind of like you're rapping against each other, but you're fighting the world together. Yeah, it's still sharp and still. That's all it's about. Yeah, man, so, so yeah, I'm gonna say, what's your favorite parts? Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna yeah. ask Brody to go first. Oh yeah, man. yeah, let's go, Word. Brody. Oh, he ain't say a lot. He ain't say a lot. Damn. He need to say something. Hmm. Well, for this, I gotta think about it. All right, I, 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 I'll, I'll try to start. I'll try to start. Um, it's so much. We did three verses and a lot of heat, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with right now. Y'all can come back to me maybe, but I like the adrenaline shots of penicillin. Could not get the, the illness to stop. A mox of it's just not, not real enough. enough. Yeah, crazy. The flow and the bar is just too mean. Yeah, I want to just edit it back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. And it's a wild punchline at the same crazy. time. That's what I'm saying. The bar along with the flow is crazy. Yeah. So what's your what's your favorite part of this verse? Uh, that's one um, clever verse. when I put together every verse. My thoughts are sporadic. I act like I'm, I'm an addict. addict. I rap like I'm addicted. Smack, smack, smack like I'm commanded. But I don't like want to go back and forth the kind of battle. The fact that I rather sit back like that you know, whole rappers. Whole yeah, thing. because he explains pretty much the opposite of what people really think it is. He's out here just going crazy. That it's very you know it's planned exactly what he's doing. He understands what he's doing. 
and he's nice. Yeah. So he gonna do whatever he want to do. Whatever like, he wants. He to knows do. what he what he's doing. It's not I like that, the buildup. Mm, nah, your he, left, he's, he's your fired. left, right, left. So it's a military buildup. Mm, right? Yes, it is. It's he's going to war. Yeah, right? yeah, he's yeah. Going to war. Every time he get on that mic, that's what it is. But he's talking to the world because the world feels tired and the world feels weak, and they got to come across and they got to beat whatever feeling they're in. Mm -hmm. So you put this song on before you're about to play and ball, he smash or, or whatever. Yeah, nah. Shit. When yeah. else? When else you put it on? Legendary for that. When you went to jail. When else? When else you put it on? <laughs> when else, baby? Yo, man. Left, yeah. right, left. Nah, this so is different. My favorite part, um, that's why I'm clever when I put together. Wait. He just said that, no? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, you did. My fault. That's the one part. I said yeah. the wrong one. Um, oh, shit. So, look, I'll give oh, you I another it. one. All okay. Right. I got I'm about it. to say the, uh, the, 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 you know, when you when you real and you spit and people feeling Finish, your shit, this, this is, is your, your moment. moment. And every single minute, minute you spend, get, try to hold on, on to it, it cause you may never, never get, get it again. again. So while you're in it, try to get as much shit as you, you can. can. And when your run, run is, is over, over, just admit when, when it's, it's at its end. end. Yeah. What do you mean? I'm at the end of my wits with half of the shit that gets in. Because he want he want, at, remember this is the Eminem show, so ah, this is like the end for done, him. Yeah. He was kind of done. Yeah. You know what I mean? He had went, went to jail. A lot of stuff had happened at this point. Mm -hmm. um, but so my favorite part is, and it's well, I'll probably never get well, and it's absurd how people hang on every word. I'll probably never get the props I feel I ever, ever deserve, deserve, but I'll never be served. My spot is forever ever reserved. Deserve. If I ever leave Earth, that would be the death of me first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's my favorite part because I think it goes back to that feeling of like a lot of people feel like they're not getting the credit that they deserve. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And he's he's kind of kind of saying he's okay with that because even in that he knows he's he's, he's always but he's, he's always good. still gonna win. If you ever mm -hmm. try to come at him, he's gonna show you Don't why he should, he deserves his spot. And I think that's how we all gotta move through mm -hmm. life, right? Like we're gonna have obstacles, no but it's what. like we'll I'll never be served. I'm you're never gonna winning. quit. I'm never gonna just let you beat me. Even or, if you lose, you're still winning. Facts. And when you when uh, you win, you lose. Yeah. Who said that? That's from White Man Can't Jump. Sometimes when you win, you actually lose. And sometimes, sometimes when you, you lose, lose, you yeah. actually win. So sometimes Some when you shit. win, you actually tie. Yeah, yeah. facts. <laughs> when you win and or you lose, you actually tie. Yes, shit, yeah. yes, yes. I like I like the adrenaline shots. Mm -hmm. So this is shots, another <laughs> <cannot> <laughs> number one. Another episode, episode one. of verse verse. 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 Shout out to Rosie Perez. Eminem and them. Damn. Shout out to Marshall Mathers. Slim Shady. We can talk about him all day. We need to do. We got. I'm about we to add need. that to the show. We have to have a show talking about an artist. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. do that, man. I agree. Tell us your favorite Eminem verse. Tell us your favorite part of Till I Collapse. All that. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Please. And holla at my people. We got Brody in the building. Mr. Rich, Big U, and we out of here. It's me. But I never be served. My spot is forever reserved. If I ever leave Earth, he's different. Buy in my style, I hope they got dental plans. So get it straight from the source and cut out the middle man. What you did? Get that pure will. What you get? Get that pure will. What you do? Go get it straight from the source and cut out the middle man. Did you get that pure will?